The British scientist who discovered the DNA fingerprint says the profiles of innocent people should not be kept on a national database. Professor Sir Alec Jeffries, who discovered the process 25 years ago today, is calling for a change in the law governing the storage of DNA from people arrested in criminal investigations. Claire Marshall has this report. Knighted for his discovery, Professor Sir Alec Jeffries still works in the same laboratory in Leicester University, now overseeing the work of the next generation. Genetic fingerprinting was first used by the police in the late 1980s to catch the murderer of Linda Mann and Dawn Ashworth. This first ever mass screening led to the conviction of Colin Pitchfork. But Professor Jeffries is concerned about the amount of genetic information currently being stored. The profiles of more than five million people are now held on the combined British database. My view is very, very simple. It has been right from the outset. Innocent people do not belong that day to day. Branding them as future criminals is not proportionate uh, response in the, the fight against crime. This is the lab where Professor Sir Alec Jeffries developed the DNA fingerprint. 25 years on, and this is one direction which the technology is taking. Commercial laboratories are offering these paternity testing kits. You can even just pick them up at chemist shops now. You take out the swab, get a little bit of a sample from the inside of your cheek, put it in this envelope and send it away. You can get the results within a week or if you pay a bit more, even by the end of the working day. As more and more people choose to get their own genetic profiles, concerns about storing and protecting such sensitive information will only grow. Claire Marshall, BBC News.